In this lesson, we'll continue layering more color and value onto our character's shirt to build on the base colors we laid in in the previous lesson. All right, fantastic. So this is kind of where we left off in the previous lesson. I did a little bit of blending with the colorless blender here, uh, just to kind of soften some of these areas where our shadows are going to be. And we're going to continue to just layer in color at this point. So um, knowing that, uh, I've got this color currently selected right here, and I think it's a good color, but I'd like to maybe come in with something a little cooler at this point. So um, I think that that color provides a really nice contrast in temperature. Um, you can see how it's much cooler, much more purple. So we can come in here at this point and start to just look at that kind of in its uh, really transparent form. Just kind of layer in some of this color in on top. So this is a very vibrant color, so I'm going to be rather careful with this. Uh, but we can come in and we can just kind of blend it in if we need to. Sort of like that. You can see how it's really cooling off those shadows quite a bit. Now it hasn't done a lot for value, but as far as color temperature goes, those shadows are much cooler at this point. So I'll just come over here and hit a few more spots with that. I'm also going to shrink this down some and maybe layer it in in a few places around in here. Now you can only go so small with this particular medium broad nib. I'm at a 10 right now, and that's the smallest. So um, let me just go up to, yeah, let's try 10. Maybe 15 or 20. There we go. At this point, again, we're just kind of coming in and gradually darkening and saturating some of these shadows. Some of these are folds in the cloth. Some of these are uh, actual shadows that are being used to really kind of form the, uh, the cylindrical shape of her arm, for example. Um, whatever the purpose of the shadow, we're coming in and adding this particular color into them. And we'll come over and blend a little bit. Now, the thing about these curved forms of her arms, um, they're, they're cylindrical, so the, the shadows are going to roll around and be kind of soft in places, unless we're dealing with a very um, harsh light source, which we're not. Um, then we're going to have softer shadows and subtle transitions uh, in between the values and colors. So uh, at this point, I'm going to come over and hit her shoulder over here. Now this shoulder is probably, if anything, the one of the furthest away from the light source. So we definitely want to get some, some cooler colors into this area over here. Just sort of like that. Come in and hit her sleeve just a little here. All right, fantastic. Blend in some of that as well. Now, we're going really saturated at this point, so we might think about coming in and uh, adding a color in that's going to kind of bridge the gap between uh, shadows and highlights. And uh, in this area over here, I'm using this color right now. We could probably go with something like that or even something like that just to kind of start to darken the overall tone of the shirt a little bit. Let me just make my brush a little bit larger. Again, you can make that bigger by using the bracket keys, by holding down the B key and dragging, uh, whichever method you're more comfortable with. So you can see the highlights are a little warmer. They're more of a red, uh, whereas, or rather a pink, whereas the shadows are becoming more purple. That's a really dark purple right there, but eventually we're going to get there if we're working into these shadow areas. Sort of like so. You can see here the, the more gradual we the, the stepping into these darker values are, um, the easier it's going to be to blend this. 
So um, in this area right here, uh, we don't have as distinct of a variance in value. That's because we've been working the values in that area already. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit this little fold right here really well. Let's come in and uh, blend a little bit here. And we'll come in and again lay down some more pigment. And let's see, let's make our brush a little smaller so we can come in and kind of start to hit these wrinkles down near the base of her shirt. And we'll come in and activate our colorless blender. Soften these up in places. Some of these places I'm leaving uh, them pretty, pretty much the way I drew them with the marker. But you can see here how this purple, it's darkening, and but it's really not saturating much. But you can see how it's really kind of deepening the shadows in the shirt. So uh, if we wanted to saturate more, we could come over and grab something maybe a little warmer, something like that. And let's come over, turn off our colorless blender. Maybe even something like that. Really kind of come it back in and, and go after those shadows again. You can see how we're really adding in some nice saturation now. But we don't want to go overboard with that. So I may have gone a little overboard there. We'll just come in and, and work that area a little bit. Now, there's some natural folds in the shirt right here under her arm. So I'm coming in and I'm hitting some darker values in that area. And uh, we'll probably blend those in a bit. But I'm extending those values, again, under her chest here. And I'm, again, just building up the values slowly here. Now, this is a very dark value I'm coming in with. So uh, I'm being kind of sparse with it. I'm only really dropping it in in the areas... Uh, where I know that I want it to be fairly thick. So let's come in and just switch to my eraser real quick. And I'm actually going to come in and we're going to work in some of the mid-tones. I'm kind of focusing on shadows, but let's come in maybe with some pinks. Make my brush a little bit larger here. Actually, maybe in something like that. And we're going to come in and kind of continue to work this shirt a bit. Now I'm getting awful close. I may need to come in and actually look at that highlight again to kind of determine where that was. And I think that we stopped it right about there. So I'll come in and adjust my, my slant a little bit here. And we'll come in and blend a little. Just like so. So you can see here how our purples are start, starting to turn into pinks as we kind of roll around the arms towards our highlights. Let me just turn that off really quickly. All right, fantastic. We'll come over here and just continue to work her arm here a bit. I'm actually going to come in with a little lighter pink. That one is actually a little bit dark for me. Um, I'm going to come in and just kind of work some of these areas like there. But I don't want to do stroke upon stroke upon stroke just yet. I'm not ready for that. I want to do single strokes so that we're kind of building value slowly. That way I can kind of control it a little bit more. And if we need to, if we get a few strokes on top of each other, we can come in and just start to blend them together some. I believe I had a highlight on her shoulder here somewhere. Let me come in and hide my shirt layer really quick. Yeah, I did. So let me come in and undo back a few steps. And we're going to kind of respect that highlight by limiting where we're coloring in with this color. Uh, 
That highlight was kind of right there on her shoulder. Just like so. All right, great. That's starting to look really nice. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to work this pink in and a few other places here around her chest to just kind of bring the lighter areas that, you know, from a distance, if we look at that, all these areas right in here look like one giant highlight. But here in the arm, you can kind of see the effect that that pink is having here. It's starting to kind of bridge the gap between these highlight areas and these shadow areas. So I'm going to go ahead and work this pink in and some areas around her chest here. But uh, when we come back in the next lesson, I want to try and get as close as we can to wrapping up the shirt. May just push to where all we have left is some final details. So uh, we'll pick up in the next lesson where we're leaving off here.